The new cranes are 25 feet taller than the ones currently being used. Take a look. They're part of the plan to increase the port's container capacity, which is expected to double when the Howard Street freight train tunnel expansion is completed. The ship carrying four massive cranes from China to the port of Baltimore attracted onlookers from shore. It's history in the making for sure, and the harbor's really booming, so we need more cranes and infrastructure and everything to go with it. Port officials consider the voyage itself remarkable. The cranes balanced on the ship like giant claws had a maneuver around Hurricane Ida. The cranes then barely squeezed under the Bay Bridge and Key Bridge, headed toward the Seagirt Terminal. From what I understand, they had to wait to low tide to bring it under because it's that big. The cranes are fully electric, 450 feet tall. Their reach is 23 cargo containers wide. Each way, 1,740 tons. Now with these largest cranes, I think, in the world that are 25 feet taller than the previous ones, they can reach all the way across the widest ships without turning them around. It's going to dramatically increase production here at the port. The addition of the cranes are a step toward doubling the port's container capacity once the Howard Street Tunnel is expanded. When that's finished, Freight trains will be allowed to carry containers stacked too high. It's really about making the Port of Baltimore one of the most efficient supply chains in the U.S. The cranes are so large it will take two weeks to unload them. Special rails were built to slide them off the ship. The cranes are part of the $166 million investment in the port. Upgrades also include a second 50-foot deep berth to accommodate megaships. What we need to do as a country is make sure that we have competitive world-class ports and the inland goods movement chains that they're tied to uh, uh, in every corner of the country. The cranes will be tested over the next couple of months. They're expected to be put into service by the end of the year. Reporting from the Seagirt Marine Terminal, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.